I bought some new lip, uh, new lip, you know what, some new lip colors from Target today and I uh, tried them without you guys because that's not what today's video is even about. It's not about these lip products that I bought. But I just really wanted to see them and I don't have any makeup on so that's why I look crazy and the application also is crazy looking. So just, I have quite a piece of what, I have quite a piece of what's happening, okay? Hey everybody, it's your favorite girl, Tyler Nicole Taylor, TNT, if you love me. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a subscriber and you have seen my videos before or whatever like that, and if you are new, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Um, so, I decided that I wanted to rebrand my TNT Try series and we're going to call it You Tried It with TNT because I your girl TNT is going to try all of the things and all of the stuffs so you don't have to. So that's the whole point of this, like, you know, little series or whatever. So I will be renaming it from the playlist. I will be renaming the playlist to You Tried It With TNT and we're going to get some graphics and all of that. Some branding to go with that, you know, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, And why? Why am I doing this? Well, I have always, ever since I was a child, I have always, you know, at first, let's address, <laughs> let's address this right here. I was, I bought some new lips, uh, new lips, Lord, some new lip colors from Target today and I uh, tried them without you guys because that's not what today's video is even about it's not about these lip products that i bought but i just really wanted to see them and i don't have any makeup on so that's why i look crazy and the application also is crazy looking so just act like this isn't act like this isn't happening okay <laughs> sorry about that anyway so bam Ever since I was a kid, I was always that kid that wanted to try all the stuff. I wanted all the toys that was on the commercials, right? Like, that was me every time. And now, as an adult, I am still one of those people where commercials work on me. If it's a good creative commercial, you got me. I want to try that thing. I'm going to go find it and buy it. That's how I am. So, I figured, why not share with you guys when I buy stuff? that I want to try so you can see me try it so you don't got to you know what I'm saying because it's not always wins it's it'd be a lot of fails in there so yeah I can experience the fails so you don't have to experience the fails and you can just be like mm, yeah not gonna buy that thing or I can help you confirm some of the things you do want to buy right that's what we're doing so that's what this is. That's what you tried it with TNT is all about. So let's get started and talk about today's product. I am makeup free right now because I wanted you all to see uh, the problem area that I want to address today, which is my bags. Okay, so you see, I do have some discoloration like it's a little darker under here but you can see like the different lines <laughs> that indicate where my bags are see and i've had bags majority of my life i believe like i've always kind of had like puffy under eyes um i also am a person that suffers from seasonal allergies so that also can make my bags like puff up and when I like when I put on makeup I definitely color correct and put concealer under here to try to conceal <laughs> the baggage that I got going on now it's not super duper bad I uh, am aware of that but it is problematic to me like I I don't necessarily like it and it's gotten worse the older I get which obviously right I started looking for eye products, under eye products, to address puffiness specifically. Um, the, you know, discoloration isn't super duper bad. And my color correct game is pretty good. Not to mention, if I stuck to a face routine of cleaning my face, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can lighten up that skin under there 
and get it more even to match the rest of my skin. So I'm not really too concerned about the darkness because it's not that dark. I'm more concerned about the the line. Look at this line. Look at that. The lines and the puffiness is what I'm most concerned about. Look at that. See? You see? I know you see what I see. Like I'm seeing it and you seeing it. We all seeing it. So with that said, I went on to, of course, Amazon and I did some you know searching and did a lot of reading of reviews because honestly this product uh called puffy eye treatment with eyeless and it's enriched with green tea extract um and it's by the brand Simantica. That's what we're going to say. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I don't think I am. <laughs> but yes, so I found this on Amazon and I hope this is focusing. Yeah, so I found this on Amazon and I have not opened it yet. I got this a couple of days ago. I haven't opened it yet. As you can see, it's like not ripped because I'm, for some reason, I'm terrible at opening these type of things. Like I rip, I rip it every time. I don't know what that's about. I think it's because I'm impatient. Yeah. Okay. Um, so anyways, Unbox It is, it has an expiration date. So this expires in October of 2025. So that's good to know. Um, however, I think, yeah. So it expires in 2025 in the sense of like, if you buy this and you like it like okay so I'm trying it right now today right and let's say I like it and I decide mm, I need to buy a couple of these and I want to store the unopened ones that's what this expiration date addresses however on the bottom the open container let's see can you see it no let's see there we go the open container um, expiration date is 12 months so that's what that little thing means it lets you know that once you open your product how long it will last this has green tea extract um, it says SLS free paraben free and petroleum like patrol uh, petrolatum <laughs> free okay great great we have 25 mls in here or 0.8 fluid ounces so the reviews seem pretty good on this product a lot of people really like it um and they say that you do see a instant result and also the bnas that i saw from the actual customers that used it were at, like they were real bnas and when i say real bnas like People don't typically really know how to take BNAs, and if you want to know what that is, before and afters. Um, and a lot of times, like on some of the other products that I saw, people were using filters, and they had on the full face of makeup, and they're talking about love this product, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what you. This is not telling me if the product is working. <laughs> like, it's not giving what you thought it should have gave. Like, it's not giving. Um, like you literally need to show your no makeup face so we can see the before, the like the problem area that needs to be addressed. Then show after you use the product by itself. Don't put on makeup and don't put no filter on the picture. That don't help me. I can put a filter on a picture and keep it moving. But sis, I want these gone in real life. So I need to know, does it work? <laughs> So, anyway, the BNAs that the customers did on this one, they were pretty, like, good BNAs. Um, especially, I think it was a, a, a guy who had posted his, and that really helped me and really made me feel like, okay. And basically, even the product description said that it's uh, instant, uh, it works instantly. And working instantly means this is not a product that's that you have to use for a week or two in order to see a difference. Like when you put it on and you wait, whatever the appropriate amount of time is, you will see the difference 
right then and there on your first use. And that's what it means when it says instantly. So I'm going to read to you how to use this, okay? This is where stuff gets interesting. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna gently tap a small amount of product with your ring finger over dry and thoroughly cleansed skin. Make sure there are no traces of moisturizer, makeup, or any other oily residue. Application should be performed directly to the under eye area where puffiness, eye bags, and fine lines are located. We got all that. Then we need to, of course, avoid contact with the eyes. Now, here's, here's a major key as well. Do not rub and do not massage the cream, okay? And then you need to allow the ingredients to work for five to eight minutes. So you need to give it five to eight minutes to do its thing, and then you'll see, you're supposed to see a difference. However, this is the part, this is the part that I'm worried about, okay? It says, do not, oh no, sorry. It says, during the wait, keep your face without any facial expressions. I don't know if you'll be able to do that for five to eight minutes. I feel like when you try not to make faces and try not to move your face, that's when everything itches. That's when everything is funny. Like, sis, I don't know how that's going to work, but we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to do this. We're grown enough. We're, no we're adults enough, okay? All right. So, and then of course, do not rinse off and avoid use of any liquid skincare products slash makeup. Use only powder-based products. Now, that part I didn't read until I actually got the product here to my house. And of course that is my bad because it is actually all this, the screenshot of the back of this box is on the listing. So all the information you need to make an informed decision is there. So all of that to say, um, I'm a little, I don't like that aspect of the product already, even though we haven't tried it yet, but they're telling you the best way to use their product. And they're saying not to put any liquid makeup on top of that area. And the reason why that's a, a problem for me is because, like I said, I conceal, I highlight and, um, I color correct. All of that is liquid. <laughs> That's all liquid stuff. And my makeup, my foundation, I use liquid foundation. I, I don't use just the powder foundation. So I'm a little concerned about that because I did buy this product thinking I would be able to use it underneath my makeup. And some ladies on the some customers on the posting clearly had makeup on so i want to try the product and see it you know work the way it's supposed to work we're going to see it on my skin wait the five to eight minutes and all of that right but we're going to disobey some of the instructions and we're going to put our makeup on anyway and see if how it worked, how it acts with the makeup, um, and basically to see if we can get away with still doing the, wearing makeup anyway, and, or if we can't. Like, that's, that's what we're about to do. Okay, so inside of here, this is what the little tube looks like. This is really cute. I like the packaging. I like the little bronze-looking top. It's plastic, though. And again, just in case you get rid of the box, the expiration date the open container expiration date is there or come on baby there the open container expiration date is available for you on the tube 12 months um and also the same instructions that we read on the box is on the back of this tube so that's good to know the non-open container expiration date is also on here as well you can't see that because my lights are too bright 
but anyway so bam and the website is on here as well so that's what the packaging looks like and then we have that's it all right so now we have oh a little thank you card how sweet now what i gotta do is obviously clean this dirty ass face and take this crazy ass lip stuff off okay and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna give this a try so i have my washcloth to wipe my fingers down but i put moisturizer well i put some serum on my face in the areas except for here okay it says use your ring finger and if you don't know what your ring finger is luckily for you i'm married so that's this finger right here this is the ring finger and it's called that because that's where your wedding rings go so the one closest to the pinky and the reason why they typically tell you to do that, like you just don't have the ability to put a lot of strength and pressure on things with your ring finger. So that's why they tell you to use that because you tend to be a little more gentler. So now I'm going to take a small amount. Is that considered a small amount? That's like super small. Ooh. Okay, I'm wiping that off because I'm getting, you see this? I'm getting a little bubble here. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. It didn't say to shake it, but I'm gonna shake it. Cause it seemed like some of the liquid that's in the product, maybe the green tea extract or whatever, it seems like it was kind of separating from the cream. So I want it, I need it all to be, you know, mixed up in there. Oh yeah, that's, that's better. All right, so this is gonna be my small amount, and we're gonna do this left eye. Uh, that's what we're working with. Sorry, my camera's on this side. Can you see that? <laughs> Gang signs. Um, <laughs> I'm not used to long nails, sorry. Yeah, so we're just gonna tap this on now. So you see this area, all of this is where I'm going. Okay, so now I'm supposed to wait five to eight minutes and not make any faces and expressions. This is what we're looking like right now. And you see it's starting to dry. That's interesting. Um, so this is what it's, lo it's looking like right now. We're going to come back once it's done drying and see if we see a difference. Okay, so it has been eight minutes and we are back. As you can see, this is what it's looking like, y'all. Like, lit the French toast. And then I got a piece of hair right here and that shit stuck. It's up and stuck up and now. Is that a piece of hair? I don't know what's going on, but okay, so it feels smooth surprisingly and as far as the like bags of it all I mean technically that did work however what in the hell am I supposed to do with this like you're telling me that I'm supposed to put powder on top of this I'm supposed to not conceal and color correct this like this looks weird I, I do not like the discoloration on my face. That's really strange. And the thing is, I don't know if maybe I just did it wrong or I don't know what I could, I could have done something wrong here, but this is what it's looking like. Um, if you don't know, it's a mirror behind this camera, so that's what I'm looking at. So look, this is starting to get a little white and crusty a little bit right here. That's not good. This is looking a little white and crusty. But this color, like this is weird because I'm black, so, and the people that used it, they were white, like, 
Did they have this color, this coloration on their skin too? Well, I said the people that use it. I mean, the people in the comments. I mean, not the, the people that reviewed the product on Amazon and that provided pictures were mostly Caucasian people. It was one black girl, but she also had makeup on, so that didn't really help me. But yeah, like you got to wear makeup with this for sure. And like low key, like I kind of want to put a little bit more on to see it. I don't know why I would think that it, that would work, like to see if it would cover that. But I mean, it definitely got rid of the bags, though. That's that part worked. It did what it came to do. I will say that. Uh, but it also did some other shit that I just. I'm very confused about but anyway we're gonna do another layer fudge it okay just all right we're gonna let this sit again and I'll come back again but before I go this is what we're looking like right now. This is like the second application, the second round. Okay. All right. We'll be back. This is what it looks like. So don't do a second layer. That's it makes it worse in terms of the discoloration. And then it's got like these weird cracking things going on. And it's also kind of a little bit ashy. Um, and this is what it looks like from far away. However, uh, like I said, it did address the bags, though. Like, the bags are addressed. They're definitely addressed. I am afraid to move my face and make any expressions because, like, it feels a little tight right now. Like, it feels a little tight right here. And literally, now that I put that second layer, <laughs> it feels like there is something on my skin that I could, like, peel off. Like a mask. That's kind of how it feels. Like a thin, peel-off mask. Now, it's time to move on to the next step of things. Because, obviously, I would never go out with just this on my face like this. That's, that's never going to happen. We're going to experiment and see how this looks afterwards to see if I can cover this up, to see if the product will have some type of hold left, even though there's liquid product on top of it and it said not to use that. <laughs> and yeah, look, <laughs> look at that. Ooh, like the bags didn't go anywhere, but you see, mm, it just, it makes the skin look weird and rippled. weird we don't want that so yeah i'm going to put on makeup like i normally do and then we're going to talk about final thoughts and i am back so yeah so let's talk about my final thoughts and whether i would recommend this product or not i mean look at what it did this is how it came out looking underneath the makeup as well and this is what me putting powder on top of it. Now, I feel like if I just went for powder only on top of that, it would really look bad. Like, like I've had to, I had to put a lot of product on here to try to blend and it, it didn't work. As you can see, in real life, it's really flaky and crusty. And that's not what... I, I don't want that. <laughs> like the whole point was to take away the puffiness, sure, but I didn't want you to add more problems to the under eye area. And that's to me what this product did. Um, and it did that before I even put the makeup on, as you can see. And yes, sure, 
I did not follow the instructions in terms of when I applied my makeup because it said only powder only don't put anything liquidy on top of it and when you put something wet on it you know it looks fine until it dries down and as it continued to dry down while I was continuing to do my makeup it just came out looking real crusty really really crusty and so I can say that I am not a fan of that and that sucks because as far as it doing the job that it came to do which is instantly within minutes five to eight minutes specifically it you know reduces the look of your fine lines and bags that that happened that was real that really happened and it just sucks because on one hand it's a good product in terms of it delivering what it wants what it said it was going to deliver but on the other hand i mean come on you know what let me turn i got so much junk down here let me turn the light down so you can really really see all right come on now here we go look oh my god it's getting so bad. Look at that. Look at that. That looks... That's not... Mm -mm. That's... No. Absolutely not. That is not what we came to do. We did not come here for this. I did not come here and give you my coin and say, get rid of my bags and you give me flakes. Like, what? So, yeah. Turn the light back up, y'all, because... I would say for me, it did not work. I personally would give it a no. I would have to say no to this. Um, and it really sucks because technically it works, but it just causes other problems. And I don't have, a, like, my under eye area doesn't, nat it's not naturally super dry to the point where I have a flaky problem. So for you to for you to deliver me a problem that I didn't have while trying to cure a problem is within itself a problem. So, yeah, it's going to have to be a no for me on this, unfortunately. Um, I really hate that because it really does get the get rid of the bags. I know I keep saying that. It's just, I I'm saying, I'm saying. Thank you for tuning in to this video. If you enjoyed watching me try this product and you want to see me try some more products, just go ahead, leave a comment down below and give me some suggestions of things that you want, want me to try. For instance, if you're on Instagram and you see an ad for something and you're like, ooh, I kind of want to try it, but I'm scared to buy it. You know what you can do? Send it to me, all right? I got you because this is you tried it with TNT. So it's like you're trying it through me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? I think it does. But anyway, you can send it to me um, via DM or you can leave a comment down below in this video. You can actually find me on Facebook as well. All of my social medias will be available on the screen for you to be able to go ahead and follow me on those particular uh, platforms if you'd like and yeah you can message me on there and like I said give me some more suggestions because I am a sucker for ads like my favorite type of ad are the carousel ads on Facebook and Instagram you know what those are it's when you swipe and you just swipe it and it's just different product that's a different product oh, love it it's like shopping for things that I didn't know that I might want I love it I love it so yes Send me some suggestions. I really want your suggestions. Um, and yeah, and if you like me, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I guess I'm just this is just a long, drawn-out way to say thank you so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.